Uh, hello, I'm uh, Sean Tarikar, also known as Leo, and I will be talking about how to skin a character in preparation to importing it to the UDK or Unreal Editor. Uh, ideally, when you get to this stage, you would have your character and rig uh, ready. And we would, uh, for the purpose of uh, this demonstration, we have them both set up here. As you can see, I'm going to unhide anything about this character. This is a very simple character that that was done, you know, really quickly for this demonstration and have, has a very uh, basic uh, unwrap on it. Ideally, actually, yeah, you would definitely want to have the character mesh done and completed and final qual quality for the final asset that you're going to import for the game. Uh, so here we also have our, our uh, skeleton, which is this. We had it set up to be a female, and we modified some of the proportions to better fit uh, the specific character. Also notice that both the character and the skeleton are at about 96 generic units, which is the standard for the Unreal character, or around the standards. Uh, okay, so the first step would be to set them up to kind of be lined up with each, o with e each other. Uh, if you select one of the skeleton uh, limbs or pieces and go make sure you're on the motion mode right here. Uh, while in figure mode you can change whatever you want about the skeleton's original pose. You can also tweak its proportions as such, like by going to the select and uniform scale and you can make any limb, you know, any size you want. You can increase the width, the height, the length. If you wanted something like this. Okay. So we'll get it set up uh, like this. And once they're laid out and are in good correlation with each other, what you want to do is go in and select your uh, character mesh. And make sure that it is the stack is empty besides the original one. So the stack is uh, collapsed. I'm sorry, because otherwise it will uh, cause uh, problems for Unreal when it's exported. Once the stack is collapsed, you want to use the skin modifier. If you don't have it set up the way I have it here, you can click down and look for it by hitting S. You'll find the skin modifier. Once it is selected. Uh, what you want to do is go down here to Bones, click on Add, and briefly a window will open that will show you all the possible candidates for uh, Bones. Uh, in this partic particular case, I've had uh, I had the unhide all, so it shows some pieces of the Bones that wouldn't normally show. In case you have done this as well, you will notice that some extra extra Bones, quote unquote, appear and they end with the word nub. You do not want to select these bones in this step. What you want to do is select everything but the bones ending with nub because those are the green helper boxes here, the dummies. And you actually don't want them to uh, affect the the rig, the, I'm sorry, the mesh. So you just select everything that's ending with the word nub and after you have selected all of the bones, uh, ideally also in the scene you would have nothing but the elements uh, of your character. And these these bones would appear with the word uh, BIP01, which is the default uh, name for a BIP. You can actually uh, rename that to anything you'd like. But, you, know, you want to follow these rules. After this step is done, you hit select. And you will find that all the bones you selected were loaded here. Now, initially, the there would be a uh, an automatic waiting system and or envelope supply to uh, to to the mesh. So, if you try to move some of the if you select one of the limbs and move it around, 
you'll see that it's actually starting to do something, but it's not a very good. You can see this is somewhat unnatural and downright scary. And uh, so this is the stage where, and it would do similar things probably to other limbs if you try to move them around, because the basic, the basic mesh is applied, but it's not ideal.